guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Danielle I currently have a two month old baby and a three year old son and I am currently following the slimming world plan and trying to lose a little bit of weight so today's video is going to be what I eat in a day over a few days um, and then like I said in the intro we're going to have a bit of a change going forward for the next couple of months but I'll explain that in, at the end of the video um so for now let's get into the what i eat in a day all right so it's breakfast time and i've had a few sweet things for breakfast this week so i've decided to go for a savory and as always in the morning i'm very hungry so two eggs protein and three beans free we've got two bacon medallions there they're free and protein we've got mushroom speed food and tomatoes speed food and then I've got a decaf coffee using some of my healthy extra air. I've got 350 millilitres of skimmed milk measured out and um, with one sweetener and I'm going to really enjoy this. So I thought I would pop on and say hello. So it's Thursday today. So we're going to do a few days of um, what I eat in a day over a few days. Um, so I've had my breakfast this morning, that did keep me full um, for ages, but I'm going to have a savoury breakfast, I always crave something sweet after. So I have made myself a Nescaf vanilla latte and these are three and a half sins. Um, today it is miserable out, oh it's just awful. Um, so we're going to try and get some jobs done in the house. I don't know if you've noticed, my hair is a little bit... Um, got a tint of red in it. I picked up, I'll have to show you at some point, I'll pop a picture or something. It was 79p and I was little toners from Home Bargains and they come out in a few washes so I thought I'd just try it out. So uh, if you know, so not, probably not, but I just thought I'd say if you did. Um, so yeah, Harper's actually asleep, which is the first time ever she doesn't go, as, go to sleep on her own apart from at night. Um, I always have to hold her and then as soon as I put her down she goes to sleep but she's actually asleep but well, obviously Henry's playing so I don't know how long that's going to last so I'm going to make the most of it so I'm going to get the ironing down do you know when you've just got like a list of jobs to do and it just feels so overwhelming that you don't really know where to start and you don't end up doing anything well that's how it feels so I've done a few bits like strip beds tidied up the basics like downstairs and things hoovered and washed the floors in the kitchen so now I'm going to get the ironing and then um, while she's asleep and Henry's occupied with the toys um, I'm going to do that but knowing my luck I will set the iron up and she wake up or the postman will come and the dog will bark and wake her up always something but anyway I'm going to enjoy my coffee now and do that and um, I will pop back on if I have anything else. I have got an ASOS order coming soon so um, let me know if you would like to see that. Um, like so we've got lunch, I was debating whether to have any crisps because I've already used some sins on that coffee but I really fancied some so I'm just having some. So I couldn't really be bothered to make much for lunch today, it's just one of those days today. So I've got these naked noodles here, These, this is one sim. Apple which is speed and then Cheetos which are three and a half so um, that takes me to eight sims which is quite a lot saying it's only lunch time but like I said it's just one of those days today, I'm not going to be um, too concerned about it. We've got hairdressers later all of us so I'm hoping I manage to keep on track this evening but we'll wait and see and find out. So I was going to stop filming and then film another day because today hasn't gone well but I just thought I'd continue filming because this is just the reality um, of this journey. So I've had a really bad day today and my head's banging, it's been a stressful day and I've just, just eaten. <laughs> I've not gone too mad but I've, uh, I've gone way over my sins, I've had a curly whirly. I made the Weetabix cake, I've had about three slices of that um, and I think that's it so it's not actually too bad when I'm saying it back but it's because I left it so long to not eat anything because I was so busy that 
I, I just was hungry my head was hurt and I just felt like I needed sugar so the hairdressers just texted as well and cancelled the hair so I said to Dan I'm quite glad because it's it's pouring it down and we're all having our hair cut apart from Harper but we'd obviously still need to take Harper out with us and it's wet and it's cold and it's dark and I didn't really fancy taking her out in this so I'm quite glad that that's been cancelled um but yeah I don't know what I'm gonna have for tea I just don't want to cook I'm just in one of those moods where I'm tired the last few nights with Harper have been really difficult she's been up a lot um I'm tired I've got a headache I just want to indulge so I'm not sure I'll let you know <laughs> what I eat for the rest of the day but I thought I'd just document it because we all have these days. We're not always all on plan and there's no point in just, you know, showing you all my good days because like I said, I also have bad days too. So, and this is one of those. So, um, I'll come back if I have anything else to eat. So a very quick breakfast this morning because Harper had me up all night. Um, so I've ended up having a lie-in, which is great. But I meant to leave the house at half nine and I slept until half eight. So I've got to get me and all the kids ready. And obviously sort of having some breakfast out as well, which is just them. So we've got Weetabix, Healthy Extra B, milk is my Healthy Extra A, banana, which is a free food, no speed this morning, and three and a half sins for one of these vanilla lattes. So I'm going to try and feed me, Henry and a half pop all at the same time. Wish me luck. Right, so um, I stopped filming it yesterday because I actually had a Domino's pizza. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I knew yesterday was going to be a bad day from the moment I got up. I don't know what it was. I was tired. I had a headache. I just didn't feel great. So I knew it was going to be a bad day. So the last thing I wanted to do last night was cook. So Dan mentioned it. And I jumped at the chance of having a pizza and I probably chose the worst takeaway you could have because the amount of calories in those pizzas is ridiculous. But we did it, we're getting over it. I don't know what it is, I mean the weather at the minute is so wet and gloomy, it's just bringing me down a little bit, I don't know why, does anybody else feel like that when the weather changes, their mood sort of changes, it takes a little bit to adapt to it. It's like I just don't want to cook. Um, even at lunch times, I've been really enjoying like cooking different things, but it's got to lunch time. It's like, I just don't want to cook anything. I just feel drained, if I'm honest with you. And I kind of don't want to go on a tangent too much because a lot of people watch videos to cheer them up. So I don't want to kind of be a downer. But Harper's had some really rough nights and she's like up and up and up and up. And it, I think it's taken it out on me a little bit now. So tonight's dinner we've got Mayflower curry which is for sins. We've got mushrooms and onions that are in there which are speed food. We've got wholemeal and white rice which are free. Um, and then chicken which is a speed. So I'm going to enjoy this. So it's the evening now, which means it's time for something nice and sweet. Look at my hair. Look at me today. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm not going to moan anymore, I promise. Um, so yes, time for hot chocolate. So we have got the highlights hot chocolate made with water. So that's two sins for that. I'm not going to have a snack tonight because I've got that. And my dinner did fill me up. Oh, I forgot to film. I did have a banana as well. Um, not that long ago. So, yeah. I've, I feel happy with what I've eaten today. It's been a tricky day today. Yeah, it has been um, really hard keeping on track. But we have. We've, we've kept on track today. So, what have we had today? So, we had our wheat fix this morning. So, we had our healthy extra B, healthy extra A. I'm going to set a banana with that. For lunch, we just had the rice pudding, which is a healthy extra A, and an apple, and a lot of light, which was half a sin. Oh, we had the latte this morning as well, which was three and a half sins. Sorry, the dog's just gone through the staircase and banged it. 
So, yeah, so three and a half this morning, then we had half the sin for the yogurt, so that's four. And then we had four sins for our curry, Mayflower curry, which I've got here. I thought I would just show you. I think if you follow Slim and Wild, this is a staple, so I'm sure you've seen it before. But it's amazing, it tastes just like the Chinese curry. So yeah, so that's four sins, so we're on eight sins. And then we have hot chocolate, which takes us to 10 sins. So I think that's all I'm gonna be eating today because I'm gonna go upstairs and sort the kids out now. I can hear Henry running up and down. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go sort them out. That's gonna be it for today. So I'll try to film again tomorrow. So it's Saturday tomorrow. Um, so I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing, but hopefully something nice. Right, so time for breakfast. It doesn't look very nice. It's because it's got all the mushrooms all scrambled in that makes it look a bit grey. But we've got egg, which is protein. We've got mushrooms and tomatoes, which are a speed. We've got beans, which are free. And we've got um, bacon medallions, which are free and a protein. So this morning's breakfast is free. And um, we've got a decaf coffee with a little bit of... Um, skimmed milk and a sweetener. So um, looking forward to this, I'm very hungry this morning. I'm hoping this is gonna keep me going and stop me from snacking till lunch. So lunch, we've got one of these pitters, which are the Warburton soft pitters, whole meal. So one of these is your healthy extra B. Um, and we've got some turkey, which is free in protein. And then we've got lettuce and cucumber, which is speed. And then these Cheetos, which are three and a half sins. And this is going to be my lunch today. Right, so dinner tonight is a bit of a weird concoction, but it's near the end of the week. So you know what it's like. It's just trying to um, put something together with what we've got. So we've got sim free chips here. We've got just a chicken breast seasoned, which is protein and free. And then we've got the beans, which are free. And then we've just got a bit of tomato, just trying to add some speed on there. That's the speed food. Um, so no sins for tea tonight. I'll let you know how I got on with weighing this week and then we'll discuss the changes going forward. Um, so this week I lost one pound, which I'm really happy with. So we're on week six and I've lost five pound, brilliant. Now, going forward, we're gonna have um, a few changes and I really hope that people carry on, still carry on watching my videos because I really love filming them um, and uploading them and talking to you guys as well. Um, but going forward, I'm gonna carry on doing Slimming World because I do enjoy it. I enjoy the food, I enjoy how it makes me feel. Um, but, what I don't enjoy is the weigh-ins necessarily um, because um, how I feel, and everybody's completely different, if I have a bad day, I then start to worry what the scales are gonna say when I weigh in and that shouldn't be the case at all. I shouldn't be, I'm gonna probably go a little bit deep. I'm, I don't usually go deep in my videos, but I'm gonna go a little bit deep today. So we shouldn't be defined by a number on the scales or on our clothes. It should be how we feel. And as long as we are healthy and we are doing the best that we can and we're eating as, the, as best as we can, that's all we can ask from ourselves. And I feel like I'm putting so much pressure on myself um, to lose all this baby weight. And my baby's only two months old. I have such a busy life, like most of you do. I am up all night with Harper, um, and then I have a three year old as well, and sometimes I don't have time to cook from scratch. And if I decide one night to have something from the freezer, I don't wanna feel the guilt for the rest of the week. And we had an okay week last week. Um, we had a few up and ups and downs, and like I said, I've just been so exhausted, and that's really affected my eating habits this week. I've not wanted to cook, I've not had the energy to cook, and whenever I do, it just feels like a real big chore and I just haven't enjoyed it. So it's made it really difficult to keep on track this week. And I did have a Domino's, which you know, it happens and it's one of the worst 
<laughs> takeaways you can have because the calories and the sins are in it are ridiculous. Well, I don't even like it that much. It's one of those things where you really fancy it and then after you've had it, you're like, oh my God, I can tell I've had that the next day. Um, so yeah, th that's how this week went. We have necessarily um, because um, how I feel with food in the past, I haven't had the best relationship with food. Um, when I had, after I had Henry, I was just yo-yo dieting all the time. I was so determined to look like I did when I was 18. And you know, that's just not realistic. I, you know, my body and like a lot of us has been through so much. I'm not gonna look like I did when I was 18. Nice as it would be. Um, yeah, so. I had this pressure of looking like what I did before and the result of so I was yo-yo diet and trying different diets and the result of that is I just ended up binge eating because I would restrict myself all the way through the week and then something would happen and like just a stressful event or anything emotional event and how I coped with that was I would just shove food. I would not eat for so long and then I would just get loads of chocolate and just keep eat, eat, eating it. And it was just such a bad habit and a bad relationship with food and I would never want to be in that stage again. Luckily I haven't, um, but I, I kind of had to stop and think to myself, when I was worrying what the scales were gonna say, at that moment I was like, that's ridiculous. Why am I worrying about what the scales are gonna say? As long as I'm eating good food and I'm, you know, trying to be the healthiest version of myself, that should be all that matters. Um, so I, have, I know I'm really going off on a tangent, but it's something I feel quite passionate about. Um, I'm trying to, you know, love this new body I'm in. Um, so yeah, so going forward for at least the next couple of months, I'm not gonna be doing weighing updates. I'm not gonna weigh myself, I'm not gonna weigh on the scales um, because it's just, it's not good for my mental health at the minute. So I'm gonna continue doing Slimming World and filming it because I really enjoy doing it. Um, obviously if it got to a stage where I wasn't enjoying it, then I wouldn't do it, but I still really enjoy it. I enjoy the food. I enjoy when I've got time cooking from scratch and you know, the taste of the food. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna continue doing that. There's just not gonna be weigh for the next couple of months. I mean, after December, Henry starts nursery, so I'm gonna have a little bit more time on my hands and I may feel that pressure dissolve slightly because I've got more time to prep and cook and I can kind of go full force into it. But for the time being, I'm just gonna try my best and that's all any of us can do is try our best. And also, this is kind of gone off the trail that we're on but I thought I'd mention it before I forget I know I said in a couple of vlogs ago that I'd been gifted some products from Protein World and I did film the pancakes I thought I'd let you know how I got on with the Slender Blend um, meal replacement shake um, it's called a meal replacement shake but it doesn't have to be used as a meal replacement and I haven't used it as a meal replacement obviously you're calorie counting or you know really trying to lose some weight or on a strict diet then you could use it as that but for me it's just um, sometimes I will have it for my breakfast if I'm in a ma I have done that a couple of times I've been in such a rush and I want to make sure I do have something Thing, but I want some on the grab and on the go and obviously when you're in the car or whatever you're doing you can't be eating your porridge or whatever or an apple but having something like this it's easy just to drink and it obviously it's, it's high in protein um, 24 grams of protein so it does keep you fuller for longer now what I really want to tell you about is the taste is the taste now um, I've tried this but I wasn't the best best person to judge this because um, I've never really been into protein powders, meal replacement shakes or anything like that. So I don't have a lot of knowledge or a lot of things to compare it to. So for me, it just tasted fantastic, but I don't know whether they all taste fantastic. So my partner Dan um, used to be quite enjoy going to the gym and things like that. Um, and he used to try quite a few different protein brands so um and he is very i've mentioned it before he's very very fussy with food drink and things like that so 
I made him one of these up and I could I was saying to him, oh, you can take I can make you these and you take them to work and he was like mm, it didn't really seem that keen I made it him on a Sunday and I was like just try this he tried it and he was like oh my god that tastes amazing it just tastes like a just a normal milkshake and I was like is it not meant to t do they not all taste like that and he, was, and he said no he's had them before and they didn't taste nice at all and he said he could never buy the chocolate ones because they always tasted gritty he always just had to have the vanilla ones because the flavour of um, what was never right but he said this is the first one where he's had a chocolate one and it's actually tasted just like a normal milkshake it's not had a weird flavor to it or anything like that um i also let him know the price of it because obviously i don't know what to compare it to and he was like that's actually a really good price for it so it tastes good um it's a good price so we've both tried it now he has it more than me i have it on the like like i said on the odd days where i'm in a rush um and i'll make this but he actually has it every morning and takes it to work because he never has time for breakfast so this is a firm favorite in our house now so thank you so much to protein world um because this just saves so much hassle with any of us trying to make breakfast when we're in a rush and then than just having something in the morning instead of not instead of going without so yeah um this is gifted but it's not an ad it's my honest opinion i would never on this channel i would never recommend anything which i haven't tried myself first that's why i wanted to try it before obviously i let you guys know about it um so yeah so i do enjoy it we both really enjoy it so it's, i kind of had two different opinions on it as well which was great so yeah um so i would personally recommend this product i've tried the pancakes as well which i had in another vlog they were gorgeous um yeah so i will pop protein world's um website below and also my discount code i have a 40 percent off discount code which is p w danny which is d a n i and that will give you 40 percent off everything on the website which is brilliant um and i think these sort of things are also great going into the new year i know quite a lot of people are on those health boosts and you know everybody starts the gym in the new year don't they so having these ready to go and especially with the discount code at the minute um is great so and anyway i'll put their website and my discount code below um so feel free to have a look they do like mug cakes uh protein porridge and they're all really low calorie and high in protein and have a lot of different vitamins and things like that but anyway you'll see for yourself if you do try any of the products let me know how you get on because i think i'm gonna try i might buy the mug cakes next and then try them and let you know how i got on with them so anyway, I think that's everything I need to tell you this week. Uh, like I said, I do apologise if it has been a bit of a downer video. Um, my videos aren't usually like that. They're usually quite upbeat. And I do have some really fun videos coming up soon as well. So that's really exciting. I want to really get on top of my content and deliver really good videos to you so it may it may mean that I'm only, only posting once a week. I'll at least always post once a week. But I want to make sure my pon my content is really top notch now and I really want to get into it and um, give you good videos that you're hopefully going to really enjoy. So I'd rather spend a little bit, little bit more time on them. Um, I feel like I've waffled on so much in this outro. Um, but anyway, I really hope you did enjoy this video. I really hope you still continue following this journey with me as well. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's free to do it and it just keeps you updated on my videos and it also helps my channel out. And um, pop me a comment, let me know how you've got on this week. Um, you know, feel free to let me know your wins or if you've had any lows, what your lows have been this week. You know, we're all about sharing on this channel and I want to support people um, whenever I can um, because I'm a big advocate for mental health. I know I'm really going off on one today, aren't I? But I am. I think it's so important and I really want us all to support each other on these journeys together. So, yeah, let's pop a comment. Let's start a chat. You know, let's do it. <laughs> Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.